What's up? Oakley 450 back, and the Gaio Cusso Pegasus Turbo has arrived. What's up? Hopefully 450 back. And if you're watching this on Sunday, March 17th, then uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I was able to get out with the Smithville uh, Roadrunners, and uh, that is a new run running group over in Smithville, and do a little 5K run with them, a little group run. There's about seven or eight people that showed up to do that. Uh, so if you're around in the, group, uh, the Smithville, Tennessee area, uh, to go by and check out that group. Uh, we're planning on having some more group runs coming up uh, later on. And they were usually starting from the Twisted Oaks, which we ate lunch there afterwards. And that was amazing food. So a big shout out to the Smithville Roadrunners and Twisted Oaks. And also today, March 17th, is my one year on YouTube. Uh, this uh, day, one year ago, is when I put up my first video of my Epic Reacts when I first started my channel. And since that time, I was going to wrote down some stats I could go over real quick. Uh, since that time, we have grown in uh, 2,102 new subscribers, which is an amazing goal to me because my first year goal was just to reach a thousand if I could. Uh, I originally started with just wanting to go to 500. I reached that goal and then I moved it up to a thousand and I reached that goal too. So we were already up to 2,102. So that is really impressive. Thank you to everybody that subscribed to my channel so far. I plan on having a lot more coming out later. Uh, this year with more shoes and uh, a lot more gear and supplements. I'm going to look into getting a lot more like supplements from like you can and stuff like that. Uh, to try out. Uh, in that time, we have had 287,805 uh, views on my channel. Uh, that is a lot, in my opinion. Uh, and out of those views, that is totaled a uh, total of 673,970 times 79 watch time minutes, which equals 11,232 hours. Just to put that in perspective, that is 468 days. So if you started playing my videos and watching them end to end straight, that would be 468 days it would take you to watch all of that content. That is, that is an astronomical number for me. It would take you over a year to watch all of that. So I appreciate everybody that has supported me so far and everybody has watched my videos, gave me feedback about how to improve things, ask questions, and even I've learned a lot from y'all uh, as well. 
So I uh, hope and looking forward to this year to continue that. And my goal for this year is I'm shooting for 5,000 subscribers. I'm not really shooting for any kind of uh, watch time minutes, views, or anything like that. If I can just hit the same thing as I did this year, I'm happy with that. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, and another goal I have is just to continue to enjoy the journey, the journey of uh, creating uh, YouTube videos and giving reviews and meeting a lot of new runners. That's one of the things I'm really focusing on this year is actually going out and meeting up and getting into a lot of new running groups with like the, the Smithville Road Runners and also the uh, Red Solo Runners. I'm fixing to do a group run with them next week. So uh, if you ever run with them, and I'll give me a shout out, and I'll maybe I can hook up with you, and we can go for a run too. All right. Uh, then also, uh, since we did reach that goal, I have a giveaway link to my Kinvara 10 long run video. If you have not entered that giveaway yet, I'm gonna have the link up above here. So make sure you follow that link, and uh, that is gonna be just celebrating my reaching 2,000 subscribers. That giveaway goes on till March the 30th. And then uh, I'll announce the winner in the following week, and that is for a $100 Amazon gift card. So maybe you'll be able to pick up some new shoes or gear or anything with that spring and summer running coming up. So that is all of that. All right, uh, yesterday, or later, late last week, I actually got the Gaiukaso, and I think that's how you pronounce that. I have no idea. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. I'm sure I'm going to hear about it in the comments. But... Uh, Got to run in this late last week. This is a shoe I've really, really, really been looking forward to because, I, for one, I love the colors of it because I'm a big Oregon Ducks fan. So I'm really liking like the yellow and like I guess it's like a like a gray and then the green lacing and all that. So I mean, I'm just really loving the colors of this shoe and the look of this shoe. It's really impressive. Everybody knows I've always been a big fan of the Pegasus Turbo, but since I got this late last week, I did a run in it, and before I wanted to give my first thoughts review on this shoe I wanted to go over there and take out the original Pegasus Turbo and just that way I have like a really fresh in my mind uh, a comparison of the two so I took this one out and that's the one I ran actually in the St. Patrick's Day uh, race yesterday just to get a run in those uh, earlier this week I did a four mile run in these it was a 747 pace in these and then yesterday was a 5k 3.1 miles and it was a 740 pace in these. So, I mean, pretty pretty similar little paces and all that. Most of it, you know, really relaxed type runs, not trying to go for any kind of race pace, any kind of records or anything like that. All right, so that's why these are up here. All right, one of my favorite shoes to run in and my shoe of the year last year. All right, now getting into the uh, Pegasus Gaio Casico or whatever, Gaia, Gaia Caso? I don't know. We're gonna have to learn how to pronounce that. All right. Getting into the new Pegasus Turbo. All right, um, starting off, it weighs uh, 0.5 ounces heavier than the original Pegasus Turbo. So half an ounce heavier, not really even gonna notice that any, on any of the, the runs or anything. And I didn't even notice any kind of weight difference in those. Half an ounce is really, really unnoticeable. Uh, as far as the midsole and the outsole of the shoe, it is identical to the original Pegasus Turbo. I mean, they have the same outsole same midsole with the zoom x foam on the top and the react foam underneath uh as far as the ride on these shoes pretty much identical to the original pegasus turbo so i mean if you have a fan of the softer ride of the pegasus turbo could get the exact same thing out of this um but there, i know there's a lot of people that did think it was too soft but i was not one of those all right moving on to the upper and this is one of the main reasons I wanted to get this shoe. Just to see if we had more room in the toe box where a lot of people had issues with the strap. And if this different kind of, just a different design and material and all, uh, performed a little bit better. Now starting out with this upper, it is like this. any of this black material that you see on the sides and the toe box is like a very, very thin mesh material. It's like a, almost like a screen. And it breathes really, really well. And I think it's one of the highlights of the shoe is that it breathes a whole lot better than the original Pegasus Turbo. That was like one of my really only issues with that shoe is it breathed good, but I've had better. Um, but this uh, black material actually runs through the whole shoe. And then this yellow is actually like an overlay that is fused to the black material to give it some more type structure and support. And then over those layers, we have this like gray material it almost feels like a sort of like a suede type material and that is in the toe and on each side and on the heel 
to give it even more structure and support in those areas. Uh, the from the about the midfoot back of this shoe is almost identical to the original uh, Pegasus Turbo, and it still had the swept back heel collar. Really, really comfortable shoe. If you like the Pegasus Turbo, this section is going to be about the same for you. As far as the upper feel, it feels like it has a little more structure than the original Pegasus Turbo, and it it just it doesn't feel like it gives us as soft, comfortable fit as the original Pegasus Turbo. Um, when I should slide on the original, is a really really comfortable shoe that you can just run a lot of miles in. This one feels like it's more of like a rigid, structured type uh, feel, and. Uh, Actually, I had some problems with this shoe, and uh, the biggest problem with this shoe that I had was this lacing system. I am I was I was looking forward to this lacing system just to try it out because I haven't tried anything out on the Pegasus, uh, the Shields, or any of the React Shields or any of those. I've never tried this lacing system out on any other shoe, so I was actually looking forward to this, and I have actually been really disappointed in this type lacing system. Uh, when I laced these up in the first time for the going out on a run, I snug these down really good and snug, and uh, I was like, all right, this is this is a good fit. I just clipped it on the front. Usually, I run up my the actual string or anything under the laces, but I just clipped it on the front with a little clip. But then you had this big loop of loop extra string sticking up, so I was I didn't like that. But anyway, whenever I got on that run, I was about a mile into my run, and I noticed the shoe kept getting looser and looser. And I mean, it wasn't just in the heel, it was like the total shoe just felt like it was like just loose. I mean, like my foot was fixing to fall out of the shoe. So I stopped and I looked and uh, I'll show you in the video uh, up above, I'm going to link it into here. Uh, the laces, actually the little cam system had actually slid out and the shoe was not the same uh, uh, resistance as what I had put it on before. So I re-snugged all this down and I took off on a run again. Uh, another about a mile in, if even that, uh, the cam system and all that on these laces started loosening it up again. Overall, on that four mile run, I had to stop at least four times. I'm thinking it may be five, because that first time I stopped it was a little bit short of a mile. But almost every mile, I was having to stop to late re-tighten these shoes. And for me, that is a, a just a devastating flaw in this system that whoever designed this shoe and tested it didn't say hey these shoes are coming loose we need to look into try to get in a different or stronger type of uh, the cam system to lock down these shoes or something like that um i think i'm going to be able to fix this i'm going to try to see about getting like a like a little o-ring just to slide over these laces to slide down after i lock down the the top part that way it has a little bit more resistance against it to give the shoe a little more lock um and if that doesn't work, I may end up just cutting off the laces off these things and do some traditional laces on these. So it's not a flaw that's really going to like you know make it where the shoe is unusable. Uh, but I really do not want to cut the laces off of a $200 shoe. Um, I'm going to start doing some more running and testing in these shoes. Trying to see if I can fix the whole lacing option of this shoe. But as my first run falls, this is like a, a, a thing that really, really pushes me away from this shoe and being able to me to recommend it for y'all to be able to go out and run in it. Uh, for an extra $20, you're not getting an extra $20 of performance because, uh, well actually on this colorway of the shoes, you can actually get this one for $150, but all the other Pegasus Turbos are re still around $180 on all those other colors. And for that reason, I'm saying probably you would want to stay away from this shoe initially. Uh, let me get some more testing on this one, and I'm going to do an update. I'm going to try to get a long run in on these if I can fix these laces. And if I, anything else, I may just end up having to tie a knot right above this little the little cam system. That way it just won't slide out, and I can get the same top fit over the entire run and not have any kind of heel slippage or anything like that. Um, but overall, looks of the shoe, amazing. Performance of the shoe, I've been really disappointed in this one. Uh, this was like one of my first Nike shoe I've ran in this year had really high hopes for it and it was like everything everything Nike this year so far has really I've been really excited and looking forward to and then every time I get a, my hands on them I've been really disappointed. I actually went and ran in the Epic React 2s at a at a running store and I was really disappointed in it that there's a it's pretty much the same shoe as the Epic React 1. Uh, I'm still probably going to pick those up later on 
But I'm just waiting for more Color Blazer stuff like that to come out. My next shoe I'm probably picking up is probably going to be the Odyssey React. So that is my initial thoughts on the Gaioxo, uh Pegasus Turbo. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've got to run in these before, uh, before or if you uh, have any questions or comments about these, or if you've had this cam system on uh, any other of your shoes and if you've had a way to fix it or anything like that, let me know in the comments below because I'd really like to be able to get this this shoe fitting better and be able to get some good runs in it because I love the midsole. It's just the, the lacing system is really making this uh, shoe that makes it difficult to run in. But uh, as always, uh, be sure to enter the giveaway that ends on March 30th. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and thank you for your continued support.